all Russ here over TV welcome check it out we made it back if you haven't heard this is RV or TV's home base welcome to Quartzsite Arizona yay what a long summer trip we had huh but we're back in town now we're at the east end we're gonna start Heading down Main Street. Let's see what's happened. Haven't been back here in about, what, six months? A lot of changes make, being made. On this end of town, there's truck stops going in. All kinds of new development. The real estate boom really hit here. A lot of the houses have been sold. Some of those places were for sale for years. They're all gone now. You're looking right down there in I-10. One of the busiest highways in the country. But pretty soon, this whole desert will be filling up full of RVers. Even better, the Canadian folks up north, guess what? They get to come down this year. They, they're going to open up the borders. They can actually drive across. So our good friends to the north, they're going to be heading down. Look down at the truck stop. This whole area down here is going to really change here in the next few years. Well, let's do this. Let's cruise town. Still warm yet in the desert. We're out of the 100 degree stuff. Nighttime cools off. But you can easily get high 80s, low 90s this time of year yet. This is Main Street, the main drag going through town. There's Plymouth Avenue off to the right. We'll go up there on our way out of town. Make sure our big old cactus is still standing. The famous one you can get sunset photos with. Been taking pictures and doing photography here for years. Actually, I've been coming to Quartzsite since the early 2000s. And this is the official home base for RV or TV. Yay! Fuel's about the same as every place else. Diesel's jumping up in price. A couple of grocery stores here. That Road Runner, and then back there was that Coyote, uh, fresh one. I'm sure the big RV dealer here on the left will set up this year since everything's opening back up. Right up here, this is the corner of uh, Central and Main. To the left, to take you down to Yuma, to the right, up to Parker, Arizona. One busy intersection, one of the few traffic lights that's in Quartzsite. But you can see we're going to truck right on down Main. You know, they had some monsoon rains this year, so things greened up a little bit. They were blessed with having some of that summertime moisture. Good for the desert. I've already talked to Kim Scott or Tyson Wells. Vendors are starting to set up. We'll drive through there. Off to the right's one of the busiest post offices in the world. <laughs> it's a tiny one, but man, do they get hammered every winter. A couple of vendors setting up there at the High Alley uh, flea market area. Don't worry, we're going to explore this area quite a bit. You know these RV parks through here, they've been here forever. They're really nice. There's Holiday Palms, 88 Shades, uh, all of them down through here. That Hassler's been there forever. Crossing over Tyson Wash here where it's the natural storm drain system and heavy rains that thing floods. There's 88 Shades off the left. And you can see the beautiful mountains straight ahead. Good to be back.
Yeah, we got the High Jolly uh, Monument Cemetery. It's up here off to the right. Done a lot of videos on about every attraction around here. <laughs> this year we're going to focus on uh, desert and a little more of the history around Quartzite. Something I haven't touched too often. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See the big yellow tank up here? Guess what? That's KMB Tools. He's over here on Main Street and he is open. All that area down there is called Vendors of Main Street. There's Ken's grocery store down there, and then also you got KMB right there. They're open for business nine to five daily. Few weeks you watch Main Street's gonna be packed. We'll film it again. I guess even uh, this old truck stop building got sold here on the left. Everything got sold here this year. <laughs> Quartzite's going to be turned into the truck stop capital. Because they're building a bunch of them. Here's Pilot on the left. And you know these guys, uh, years ago they were huge. But now they're overwhelmed at trucks. There's so many of them. Old Hardy's Beads, he's up for sale. He's going out of business. Right there in the right uh, tire shop. Custom tire. And then up here at this intersection, off to the right, they're putting in, uh, they call it Terribles. It's a brand name, Terribles uh, Fuel Stations. And they're truck-related truck stops. And that's been under construction. But I guess the construction got held up because lack of supplies, they couldn't get the building supplies and they're just now getting re uh, restarted again. But they'll have little stores and whatnot in there too. So right here, that used to be the old main event. That used to be all vendors in here. No more, it's gonna be all gas station and semi trucks. Okay, let's go. Cut across, here's the world famous Exit 17. <laughs> this thing will get so congested in the winter time. You can sit in the back up here for uh, 20 minutes trying to get out. It's just so overloaded. Especially when all the RVers get in town. The best exit to always take when you're in Quartzite's Exit 19. And then just double back into town. You'll save yourself a lot of heartache and traffic. I see old Love's truck stop. Look how they're parking the trucks in that empty lot now. So I think all these properties are changing here too now. Not sure, but it sure looks like it. All right, we just made a left. This is queuing. We're gonna head on down to Tyson Wells, see what's going on. Here's a pretty cool look over at Pilot, Yuck Donald's. There you can really see the tire shop. Quartzite's not that big. It's really not. It's big on the internet and it's massive in the winter time when all the RVers hit here, but it goes out, oh, mile after mile. Of nothing but BLM, free camping, dispersed areas long-term camping yeah look how they're parking the trucks in that empty lot they never used to do that also back there's desert gardens i guess that's all changing now too and there's the world famous q mountain with the big q on it and then desert gardens uh showgrounds if I heard all this property's up for sale and they're going to be changing a bunch of this stuff too. Who knows? Alright, let's head on down the road.
I have over 30 videos if you go to the RVR TV homepage on YouTube. There are playlists and I have uh, one, there's 30 videos plus more of all the free camping you can do in this area. Be sure to check them out. It's very extensive and very thorough. All those videos on this area about free camping. So be sure to get in there and check out them videos if you're new to Quartzsite or heading in want to find something else to stay at. Check those out. Alrighty, we're getting closer to Tyson Wells. Kim Scott, the owner of Tyson Wells, and I are good, good friends. You know this little RV park here on the right? Look how close to the freeway it is. And it's always full. I mean, you are right on it. Okay. Okay. Off to the right, right there would have been uh, the community of Q Mountain. All those places got bought up back in there too. A lot of that stuff was for sale for years. Here's the world famous Tyson Wash. This thing will turn into a raging river if they get enough rain. The water actually flows from the south to the north here, believe it or not. comes off the mountains. All right, here it is. Tyson Wells. They just now getting open here in October. The game store is open, I think, 9 to 5, 7 days a week. And you got KMB Tools on the right. They're setting up at Burley's Hardware. He's setting up down there. And some of the other vendors. Be sure to check them out. But this is what they call the Tyson Wells Seasonal Market. That beer bellies back there will open up. So come down, shop till you drop. And then that copper roof building right there, there's the game store. Well, what do you say? Let's uh, cut over. Uh, we'll go up to Plymouth Avenue. See if our old cactus and that bench and everything's still set up. Probably one of the prettiest places you can take uh, sunset photos. I'm going to show it to you right now around Quartzsite. This is Central Avenue. Heading north. <laughs> Truthfully, this is one of my favorite times of year around here because it's not too busy yet. The weather's perfect. It's out of the 100 degree time. Not as many people. Very enjoyable here. Here we go. Matter of fact, let's have some fun. We'll cut through the, some of the back streets. You'll get to see the burbs. <laughs> Residential area of Quartzsite. Bunch of RV parks up through here too. Then the only bank in town, Horizon. Oh, uh, that old hardware store still up for sale. I think they want a million bucks for it or something like that. They might have lowered the price. All right. This street here is called No Name Street. <laughs> VFW is right there on the right. They do a lot of good for the veterans here. Very active VFW here. If you're a veteran, it's good to join or at least stop in and visit them if you're in the area. Now back in these streets, look at them old tall cactus there. Uh, back in these streets, they're all set up. Some are like mini little RV parks. Some are just lots that have multiple RVs on them. It's really different. Some are just old houses.
it's a harsh place to live here in the summer. I mean, you're dealing with uh, high heat, 110 plus every day, plus uh, nights don't cool off. But a lot of people do it. Population of quartz sites over 3,000, I think close to 4,000 that live here year round. A lot of infrastructure here, all the city workers, and businesses, the truck stops keep a lot of people employed. Right there to the left, there's the community center. They got a workout room. A link for like a dollar, you can go in there all day long and uh, use all the workout equipment. Then over here on the left, this is the Quartzite Park, Community Park. Covers a lot of acres. Right up here at the intersection, there's a set of old uh, fighter jets. And this is some of the only grass you'll ever find <laughs> in Quartzite. Look at that, they got a ball diamond out there with green grass. The old courthouse, town hall was on the other corner, kitty corner. It's where you get your permits for vending, business licenses, all that. They got a public library here with free Wi-Fi. Now right up here on the left, it's uh, Quartzite spend a lot of money and time and effort. They put in huge areas for dogs, dog park. It's all got grass, green grass, water. It's very well set up. So if you got your puppy with you, want to find a little bit of green grass, there it is. Then up here on the left will be the RC fields, remote controlled airplanes. They got their own little runways and all that. They got active clubs that participate there. They, and actually they have events where uh, some of the bigger scale model uh, planes come in. Pretty cool. We'll film some of that. That's usually later on. That's normally after January, February. You'll see all this. It's way early yet. Not much going here. And oh my goodness, there it is. There's the famous RV or TV cactus. We got to stop and say hello, huh? Maybe we'll get a drone shot of it. <laughs> but it made it yay let me pull over here on this side there it is this is the best place if you want to see a sunset you come right out here on Plymouth a lot of people come out here and sit in the cars you'll see a dozen cars every night out here when they got the clouds, the sun goes down right over top of those mountains there. And it's spectacular. You'll see uh, colorful uh, Mother Nature's gift to you when that sun's setting. And there's a good look down at Quartzite. It's still here. <laughs> Love it. So anyway, we are back, heading to Phoenix tomorrow, going to go down and uh, pick up an electric bike. Stay tuned. Journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>